Oh my god, there's a stupid buzzer beeping noise outside. We're trying to make burgers in here with books. Please calm down. Hi everyone, today I'm doing the book burger tag, so it's going to be about food, but book related. So we're converting different types of foods into books to make a burger, which is going to be very, very exciting and very interesting. This was started by Ryan Reed's books, and I also saw it on Charlie Reed's channel for the first time. So thank you for promoting that video, and thank you Ryan Reed's books for starting it too. I am reading off my tablet here, so I might look down a bit because I need the questions. So the first one is, first we need the bottom bap or bun. Choose the first book in a series that you loved. For this, I'm selecting Into the Wild by Erin Hunter. This is the first book in the Warriors series, and as you know, I adore this series. It's so, so good. I just totally recommend you read it right now. You should just get it and read it because you'll love it and you won't regret it. Now we need the burger meat. Choose a meaty or thick book that you've read and enjoyed, and this has to be over 400 pages. So for this one, I've selected The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. I recently read this and really enjoyed it. There'll definitely be a review coming up because I thought it was such a fantastic book. I really thought this was just so good. I just love the setting, I love the characters, I love the plot. Very intriguing, very creepy and mysterious, and totally different for me but exactly what I was looking for from such a unique read. Next we need to add a thin slice of cheese and lettuce. Choose two thin books, one you've read and enjoyed and one you want to read but haven't yet and these have to be 200 pages or less. The one that I've read and enjoyed is Hachiko Waits by Leslie and Newman which is a fantastic book. It's based around the real life story. It's very sad and emotional but it's such a good read. I reread this quite a lot because it's so short. I think it's like under 100 pages so it is a really, really quick read, but such a powerful one at the same time. Definitely one of my favourites, despite it being so short. So the one I want to read but haven't yet isn't necessarily one that I actually want to read soon, but I want to read it at some point, and it was the only one that was under 200 pages that I haven't yet read. I have selected The Secret Passage by Nina Borden. I got this ages and ages ago. I can't remember exactly when, but I did get it a long time ago. For some reason, I haven't got around to it, so I should get around to that soon, and hopefully I'll enjoy it. The next one is Time for a Nicely Sliced Tomato, and you have to choose an average book you loved or hated between 200 and 400 pages. For this one I selected Legend by Marie Lu because I loved this book. I also loved Prodigy which I thought was even better. It was so good. It's such a great series. I can't wait to read the last one which is Champion. I just think the characters are great, the plot's great, everything's fast paced and exactly what you'd be looking for in a YA dystopia. Now you need to add a sauce that you've never tried before but you don't know if you love or hate it. Choose a book that you thought you'd love but hated or a book that you thought you'd hate but loved. For this one I've selected Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Leverfan because I didn't like this book unfortunately. I thought I would. Right before reading this I read The Fault in Our Stars and I thought it was perfection. It was so emotional, so captivating, so unique and this was the opposite actually. I didn't like it for some reason. Did I didn't like the ideas, I didn't like the characters, and I don't know even why I bought it because I didn't know what it was about before reading it, and for some reason I just wasn't interested in it. I really didn't like the book. Good job it's kind of short, otherwise I might not be here today. Sorry if you actually like that book, I can completely understand different people like different books. I'm sure it's really good for some people and not as good for others, so don't be offended that I don't like that book because, you know, I can kind of see why some people might like it, it's just not for me. And finally we need the bap or bun on top to complete our burger. Choose the last book in a series you were dreading the release of or were dreading the release of because you didn't want the series to end. For this one I've decided to pick Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare because I was dreading this book. I wanted a series to end so I could read the last book but at the same time I didn't because I was scared it wouldn't be very good. So I was dreading the release of that although I did kind of at the same time want to find out what happened so it was kind of like 50-50 do I want it to be release right now or not or yes and it did finally arrive and it's very very good so this is my book burger I hope this is in the screen it's a bit of a mess right now I don't think I could eat that thing currently but would you eat this burger would you want to dive into these books and eat them well not the actual books we don't eat books we read books but you know just tell me what you think of this burger. I'm not sure if it's too representative of me if I was actually eating a burger because I actually only eat the bread and the burger. I take out all the tomatoes, all the lettuce and cheese and everything. I just don't like that. I just don't 
think it tastes nice for some reason. Everything merged together like that is just not tasty for me. But still a very fun tag to complete. I would definitely recommend you do it if you haven't already done it. I will tag some people in the description below. So if you want to do it and I haven't tagged you, you can still do it. Obviously if I have tagged you though, it'd be great to see your videos. So thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for a new video. Thank you.